Ark Survival Evolved, the game that we have all grown to hate yet still enjoy to play. This game has, I believe, the perfect concept of any video game that not any game can match. Truly, this game is the only game that I have ever spent above 10,000 hours. And like I've said before in previous videos, I don't think I'll ever have a video game that will match anything remotely close to that. That is an absurd amount of hours. And sometimes I wish I didn't spend that much, but that's besides the video. So today's video is intended to explain why Ark Survival Evolved could have been the perfect game, the mainstream game that everyone plays, sort of like Fortnite. I believe Ark Survival Evolved has a very thorough concept of what a great game can be. But if you play Ark Survival Evolved, you know that's just not the case. It's executed poorly by the lack of good devs and many game-breaking glitches and exploits that are inside of the game. Luckily, if you're a PvE player, you don't actually have to come across these issues. I mean, don't get me wrong, PvE players still get slapped right in the face. Like, any balance changes also go their way. I That's where I think that it shouldn't because a lot of the changes that wildcard makes for arc it's catered towards pvp players so pve players unfortunately they do get balance changes like nerfing dinos that really wouldn't matter in pve so what can wildcard do to make arc better as we can see they've already announced that arc ascended will be coming out in august and it's going to be a remastered version of Ark Survival Evolved 1. I have hopes for Wildcard, and hopefully it will turn out to be a great game, assuming they don't delay it. I'm very anxious to find out how the results will come out. But I'd like to share with you guys my compiled list of what I believe Wildcard should address, as these issues are indicators of why Ark Survival Evolved is a failure as a game that very well could have been better than what it was. Before we get into the compiled list, I do want to mention that it is subjective to me. Maybe I might miss out on certain things that are that are a contributing factor to Ark's failure as a game. Also, another caveat is I haven't played the game since March. So I might have lost sort of an idea of what the game is about and the issues. I personally just couldn't be asked to redownload the game. But without a further ado, let's get into the video. So the first one is meshing. This has been a predominant issue throughout the history of the game. It is a cheap way of raiding bases. Essentially, the idea is that you go under the map and you could bypass defenses and yeah pretty much it's a wrap from there to raid bases personally i think that if this was removed from the game it would be way more appealing to play next we have duping a lot of players don't seem to have a problem with this but i do believe that this is a contributing factor to arc's failure a lot of people like to defend duping because it makes the game less grindy or in other words you don't have to spend as much time on the game doing boring tasks and although i guess that's a good reason to be okay with duping i still think that it's just not a good thing for the game especially with duped max i just couldn't look past that it was it was most definitely destroying the game and the population because it made bases way too easy to raid you could just mech rush and yeah next we have hacking this is just like utter bullshit and i wouldn't be surprised that anyone who's watching this video that has played pvp has been cheated on this is by far the most common cheat that you come across and this is what truly kills the game especially because of the lack of good devs uh if you want to submit a ticket to deal with a cheater or aka a name botter you probably won't be able to do anything and you're probably screwed and the only choice you're really left with is to fight fire with fire, which doesn't end well for either tribe. So all in all, it's just bad for the game. 
Uh, it's very hard to just say that, oh, just fix cheating, right? I mean, there's cheating in almost any game uh, for the most part. The problem with Ark, though, is that they poke ass to resolve the cheating uh, compared to other games where they're on top of it. The next one is Login Lock. Obviously, I don't think this is literally what's causing the game to to die. But, but while I'm at it, I'll just list all the problems that I have with Ark that are even at the scale of minuscule. I think every player has came across this. Your internet goes out or you randomly get kicked out or even your game just crashes and you load up Ark again and you can't even log back in until your character gets disconnected. I've been told that this is a way of stopping duping and clearly that doesn't actually really resolve anything. Duping is still everywhere in the game. The next one is the game itself on how it runs. If you play Ark, you know that this game is incredibly hard to run despite it's pushing six years as a game. I will say this though, um, in Ark Ascended, Hopefully the jump from Unreal Engine 5 will resolve all these issues that are in regards of performance and etc. Another reason that I think is a contributing factor is Rust, Arc's competition, scoops up most of the survival genre players. I've played both games and my thesis to that is that Rust is a lot easier to get into because the wipes are seven days a week monthly while on the other hand you have arc where you have to put in way more hours and sometimes it can be less rewarding i'm sure there's many other reasons to why rust performs better than arc but i have to be very vague because i haven't played much of rust so i have a very skewed perception of the game the next issue personally i never really had a problem with this but I do believe this is an issue for a lot of the people that have quit, played and quit Ark. So with the addition of rat holes being inside of maps, these base locations are actually great for newer players or people who just don't have the time to dedicate to an actual base spot. And unfortunately, Wildcard patches all these rat holes, I guess, because they're OP. But at the same time, it just makes it so people can't casually play arc i do feel that a lot of people stay away from arc simply because of the sheer amount of hours that you have to invest in the game to get anywhere and rat holes i think are the solution to casual players aka casual players are majority of the population of video games people that aren't willing to just spend countless hours every single day grinding and yeah and therefore this makes arc very unappealing to the majority of people the next issue is corruption inside of arc as we know the devs are pretty crap right i haven't seen this firsthand but from people that i've played with they have experienced sort of corruption or admin abuse if you've ever played classic or conquest you'll know of a tribe called t it's this chinese tribe that has pocket admins that are willing to literally within the tribe have red guns and it's it's honestly sad that that this is even on the official servers like how how shitty is that honestly look at this clip for example uh-huh kick here yeah. pocket uh, they have wipe bro no uh-huh w p eu e você o que que nós fizemos if you guys think I'm making this shit up, I literally can't. Look, corruption arc. Nooblitz made a video. Keep in mind, Nooblitz is literally the guy that, like, everyone watches for arc. I don't, actually, I don't even know how this guy made a video on corruption. This guy plays, like, PvE, I'm pretty sure. Odd. Rhoda made a video. Even Shockist. Oh my god. Shock is the guy that literally has pocket admins got cheated on. Look at this. But this isn't even something new. Like, this has been, yeah, five months. Let's, let's, look, let's, say, let's take a look at the video. Oh, I love this 
thresholds can't hold me down. Push through the crossroads and I hit the ground. No different picture. I'm guessing they don't get cheated on here. He's working for the devil's deep toy. Look out, I'm coming. Ah, look at this, look at this. Hey man, their Chinese players are too good. They're, they're that good at farming. 700 kibble without any dinos. That's a lot. But let's look at some more. Just in case you guys don't have an idea. Corruption. Snow games is destroying Ark. Dude, even this guy. This guy's a fucking dog shit ass player, the Outcast. Hey, you know it's bad when the, you have people making this video. And the thing is, this has literally been for like the last three seasons or however many seasons of Classic Price since the beginning. Like, if you're only not familiar, now people are recently making videos. Here with recent about events, it. Ark has had some serious. Forced us to pay for Ark, but a remastered version. Snow games lying to their investors. 2020. Big in fact that it's their investors about it coming out soon, then delaying it. So you're essentially Snail Games doesn't. All 93 of us were banned from Conquest server. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. All right. First set that. Them right. on their terms, and we were winning. And that is when they decided they fair enough. I mean, personally, this hasn't happened to me, but I've heard a lot of people who have been like globally banned for no fucking reason. Screenshot, obviously. But yeah. So basically, what happened was that there was a player using a fabby sniper, and this gives them enough leeway to just ban someone for it, since Snail Games doesn't need much. For it. They ban proof here to this. So Snail two games supported properly. Thing worked, and the servers lagged every second. It had millions of concurrent players. About this is, is that they used Atlas. And you can publish a game. Last year they wrote Atlas, which is destroy the game. Yeah, I don't know what that guy's on about. What a fix. No. All right, let's watch this one. Shock, shockest, shockest is literally like the top dog, like, like that. The Adder Tate of Ark is in our Hey guys, shockest here. Welcome back to our new video. So this is an start to end. But for you guys who don't know what has happened, here it is. We were basically globally banned from conquest by Snail Games for attacking a tribe called T. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys proof of them crashing their own server 11 times to roll it back because they keep losing a gigafight and basically lose a ton of stuff which really hurts them at this stage of the game. I'm going to be showing you them wrongfully banning our guys for aimbotting where I also show you his point of view of the fight. I'm going to be showing you where we get so close to their base that we get their generator on their tower offline and then 30 seconds later we are all banned. I also have proof of the of the tribe T affiliating with a cheater on a live Chinese streaming website. Oh yeah, it's clearly they, they, they literally a, a, a live stream this shit. Oh, like, so it's, it's like a, a, it's a shitty Twitch live on the website, website. for yeah. help locating our boss fight and our element and asking him to shit. scout for us. Where there's other T members in the chat also asking. I'm also 99.9% .9 sure that their blueprints that T have are spawned in for them by a developer or our admin because they are basically overpowered and near impossible to get at this stage of the game. Now, I've been playing this game for, I have 25,000 hours in this game. 
I've been playing unofficial wipes very often. I've been playing with some of the best blueprint farmers in the game. Yes, the banners. Uh, I mean, we basically knew attacking them would result in, in this. If we took one for the team to show how corrupt Snail Games actually is. 18, where we basically fully wiped their base completely. Um, on a video that has nearly half a million views on YouTube and the very next day the base is rolled back fully and we go and wipe it again. There was also clear evidence of them aimbotting us and my tribe when we were attacking them on that grief and we're oh, the yeah, ones yeah, that get... Look. This guy literally... Hold up. Where is it? ...network on the one... Grab your best friends and join Solar. Alright guys, let's get back to the video. Basically, next server back this, look at this. in uh, March 2018. The Shockus rated T. Uh, I think this was on official servers before they moved on to uh, Conquest and Classic. Uh, 2018. What year are we in right now? 2023. Five years. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Come on, wild card, do better. It's in an 18, where we basically fully wiped their base completely. Um, on a video that has nearly half a million views on YouTube, and the very next day the base is rolled back fully, and we go and wipe it again. There was also clear evidence of them aimbotting us and my tribe when we were attacking them on that grief and we're the ones that get banned. I basically want to share this story with you guys so you guys can see everything and go through it all with you guys so you can decide with all the evidence laid out. I even messaged the admins, the, the, the enforcers oh, yeah. of they don't care. the conquest servers to tell them that we're setting up a raid, that we're coming to attack them and if they're welcome to join our discord to watch to see that there's no one cheating because we're already wrongfully banned. I make this video not because I want these guys banned off Conquest, not because I want my tribe back, but because I want Arc 1.5 in August to be everything it's supposed to be and more. So we took one for the team knowing exactly. fully well that our 13 or 12 days of progress has been, my near 200 hours that I actually put in this wipe of plan uh, was going to go down the drain. Alright so let's start at the very beginning, at the start of the day what what caused all of this to happen. I want to show you guys everything. Actually a big ass fucking base, I'm not gonna lie. I think should get wrapped. So basically it all started with us going over for a quick scout of the base. Uh, basically just to see what they had, what was going on. We wanted to like, you know, have a little bit of PvP with them. We didn't have really have any soakers, but we just wanted some fun. 240 damage seems to be what they have. They have so many internals in there, Shock. Just got it, man. We're in the breeder area. Yeah. There's a Shadow Man staring One at us. One thing they guys. don't. Oh, yeah, Shadow Man's looking at us. This, but this, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna recommend. I, I'm gonna recommend Terra should give you the same treatment I got. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, oh, the server's so laggy. What? Yo, Z. <laughs> They're on me. Are they giving up? Ugh. Oh, server is actually so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these it's guys so do bad. not like griefers. Oh my god. Okay, great to try. Anyone got Anybody Z's? Just, no, just kill it. It's it's body already. Push, someone try push spam. I've got the triangle. Right they're, they're, they're pushing. I haven't tried to push spam. Are you doing this? Let's just go to the apartment. DPS deep! DPS deep! DPS deep! Left turrets are still up. Holy shit. shit. This guy's in the Left side is up. Left side is up. Middle time. We need, we need yeah. plus B. We need. Oh, near Giga. Shoot the Giga. Let's fucking fight people. 
you grapple with the fucking... Blue, 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 there you have it i wouldn't doubt that on chaka's team there was at least one name butter but it still doesn't change the fact that he has been doing this throughout like every season of classic and conquest like this is so fucked. The next issue is Fed Suits. So with the addition of Fed Suits in the DLC Genesis Part 2, it allows you to have a tech suit on any map. The issue with this is that everyone and their mothers running around with tech suits, which I guess takes away from the actual arc experience, where you run around with flak and parachutes, and tech suits are very rare and hard to get although this one i feel a lot of people will disagree with i i do think that it does play a factor in um killing this the state of pvp in arc and last but not least we have rmt short for real money trading uh, i do believe that this is a contributing factor to arc's failure and probably the hardest one to tackle as i just don't see a way of there being a, a system added to get rid of this this will probably always be in the game and remain in the game because that's just the uh, the way arc is My real money trading is almost in any game but the problem with arc is that it gives such a huge advantage if you have money you could just keep buying and buying and you'll have an advantage over others which takes away from the skill survival based genre anyways that's all i have for you guys today Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.